been a subject of dispute for years in interconnection arbitrations. My view is actually that existing law says that should not go to a one plus carrier, that that should go directly to the wireless carrier. Uh, and if it doesn't, well, I, I won't go in. There are arguments on both sides. I do think the order makes it clear that that should not go to the one plus picked carrier. Now, I understand, and I think everybody in the wireless industry understands, there are issues with, with how to implement that. But I think that's what the FCC intends. I guess my follow-up question is, does the PUC, who has jurisdiction over what the local calling area is for the landline, regardless of where the call is destined to, I mean, what type of device, or whether it's a handheld, a cable modem? Uh, so, so I, I didn't mean to cut you off, but the, the FCC would disagree with that. They would say they have jurisdiction to determine the local calling area for traffic that originates to a CMRS carrier. CMRS. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Which is wireline. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think figure Passive. Yeah, for wireline traffic, kind of there, but I've got to imagine this passing is one that has been long disputed and probably will continue to be disputed. But I was interested in the PUCs. They, they set the local calling areas for the landline, and you know where it's destined to. Does that change their jurisdictional area, and is that their, the paradigm? If it's destined to a CMRS carrier, the answer is yes. But if it's destined to a wireline carrier, the answer is no. How's that for complicated? <laughs> and that's what I think that the yeah. challenge is. And does the wireless carrier, if that call is picked to a long distance carrier and that call is routed to a long distance carrier, does the wireless carrier pay termination or access? Or do they have to pay anybody access on that? Because that's where you're trying to get to is not being charged, right? Yeah, so, so generally, the answer is no, but that sometimes become an issue. It becomes an issue of dispute between the wireless carrier and the IXC. So, yeah. I mean, this is a, a area still of where there's arbitrage opportunities, even after the FCC order, because of this difference between sort of who initiates the calls and on the wireline side or wireless. Uh, and the FCC's hope with Bill and Keep is at some point we'll deal with that. We'll get there. And under the construct of Bill and Keith with an IXC, where's the Keith part? You <laughs> <laughs> get to keep whatever they, whichever you build. Okay, we need to move on to.